If you guys are not using a sunscreen, what are you doing? You're like ruining your skin. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my full skincare routine from daytime to nighttime. I am super excited because this is the first time I'm showing you guys my skincare routine ever on my channel. It's been a year that I've been doing YouTube now and I haven't shown you guys my skincare routine at all. I'm not going to lie, in the beginning I was a little embarrassed to show you guys because... I'm still trying to figure out what works best for my skin. I'm still trying to figure out all the skincare products that you're supposed to use, what not to use, and what works best for dry skin, all that. So I finally found the most, I wouldn't say perfect, but a very good skincare regimen that I've been doing for the past month, and I really, really love it, and I am finally excited to share it with you guys. But before we jump right into this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below so you guys can see more videos like this in the future. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Ashluna, so you guys can see a little bit more behind the scenes, a little bit more of my life. <laughs> so if you guys are interested to see my skincare routine, then just continue watching. Okay, first thing is first, I want to say that I've been following, well, I've been binge watching his videos, um, Skincare by Hiram. If you guys don't know who he is, he's a very well-educated person. He's a skincare, I don't really know what he is. I think he's like a skincare specialist on YouTube and he does tons and tons and tons of educational skincare videos. He also does reaction videos to like well-known YouTubers and celebrity skincare routines, which I find really, really interesting because even these like well-known people are doing their skincare kind of wrong. So it is fun and informative to watch his videos. So I was binge watching his videos so I can get a little bit more educated and just to make sure I'm doing things right and not wrong so that way I'm not giving you guys like false information on the stuff I'm using. Before I jump in on the products, I just want to quickly kind of tell you guys my skin concerns and like skin type. So my skin is pretty much, it used to be normal and then it got a little dry and sensitive. I wouldn't say it's extremely sensitive, but I do like to be careful on the things I put on my face. Um, I'm not really sensitive to makeup and all that. I do put face tanning products on my face and my face reacts fine, but I just like to use like fragrance free stuff if I can. And also I do have dry skin. It is getting a little bit more dry as I'm getting older. I don't know why. I do live in Florida, so it is muggy 80% of the year. So I'm not sure why my skin is dry. Um, I guess just that's just the way it is. And when we do go to like the West Coast to go to Colorado every year for like our ski trip, my skin gets so dry and tight out there. So I'm glad I don't live out there because my skin was a hot mess. Um, but yeah, my skin is pretty much dry and I do like to keep it hydrated and try to use hydrating products for my face. So that's just like a little background on my skin. And also I have a little bit of mild rosacea like right here in my T-zone area. The doctor said it could get worse in the future like as I get older. Um, that's just like how rosacea is. Also, I don't really have acne prone skin. Thank you. I was blessed, you know, I don't really, I mean, knock on wood, unless I get off my birth control and I start breaking out like a crazy person, but I don't have acne prone skin. I do get like hormonal breakouts when I'm on my period, but other than that, I don't really get acne like that. And also when I do get like my little hormonal breakouts, it does leave a scar on my face, which sucks because I have like all these little blemishes. I am gonna jump into the nighttime products first and then move on to the morning skincare because I did film my like nighttime skincare routine last night and then this morning I did my morning skincare. So I'm just gonna do it in this direction. I'm gonna do nighttime first and then morning skincare. Hopefully it's not confusing. And I do have all of my skincare products here down below. So if you guys see me like looking down and stuff, that's kind of why I'm just staring at my products. So starting off with my nighttime skincare routine, the very first thing I do at nighttime to prep for my nighttime skincare routine is to take off all my makeup off. And this has been a long time coming for me. I used to use the Neutrogena makeup wipes for years and years and years, ever since I was in high school. Man, I was repurchasing those like every single month. I, all my money was going to those wipes. And back in the day, I used to use those wipes and go to sleep. And I know that's so, so bad, but back then I didn't know what the heck I was doing. Now I'm very educated and I know what I'm doing. But for years, like especially in high school, I would just like use the wipes at night and go to bed. I know, it's so bad. I wasn't educated. I wasn't watching skincare videos back then. I don't even think skincare was a thing back then, but yeah, that's what I was doing. And then after a while of using the Neutrogena wipes, I was like over it. I was like, I'm done using these. 
So then I got into the makeup remover towels, which has been amazing. I used to use those to take off all my makeup and then I would go in with my cleanser and take all the rest of the residue and makeup off. But I was finding myself still having a little bit of makeup residue on my face. But I did learn something from skincare by Hiram that if you wear tons of makeup, it's important to double cleanse, which I've never double cleansed ever really. So now I double cleanse. I don't know why I did this. <laughs> now I double cleanse, and the first product I go in with is the uh, Inuik. Inuik? Uik? I can't even pronounce it, so I'm sorry. Inuik. I think it's a Korean brand because in the back it's like all gibberish to me. I don't know what that is. But I'm pretty sure this is a Korean brand, but it is a complete cleansing oil, and it is pure plant oil, deep cleansing for all skin type. And I'll show you guys what it looks like up close. This is the brand. And I will link everything I'm talking about down below just so it's easier for you guys to look up and all that. So he did mention this in one of his videos for like cleansing oils. And I've never used a cleansing oil ever until now, about a month ago. That's when I started using this product. So now what I do is I'll do two pumps of this and rub it in my hands and start emulsifying it into my skin. It's very important that you don't wet this product, meaning you don't wanna mix it with water because Skincare by Hiram educated me saying that you don't wanna mix oil and water because then it won't break down with the oil, if that makes sense. So when you apply this product, make sure you're not adding any water or you're not kind of mixing it with water because it's just gonna like ruin it and not work. So I'll do two pumps of this and emulsify it in my face and I will emulsify it for about one one minute to two minutes ideally you want to do it for two minutes but sometimes when i'm in the shower i'm just like impatient and i'll, I'll do it for like a minute a minute and a half you want to make sure you're cleansing your face with this oil for about two minutes but you don't want to go over the three minute mark because then too much oil residue on your skin can cause breakouts so i roughly do a minute and a half about two minutes using this product and after i'm done using the cleansing oil i will go in with some water and just get all of that residue off and then I will go in with my actual cleanser. And this is the Matcha Hemp Hydrating Cleanser. And this is from Crave Beauty. Again, I found this product from Skincare by Hiram. He definitely recommended this for dry skin. And let me tell you, this freaking cleanser is amazing. I was using the, what is it? Um, I was using the Tula Milk Cleanser, which I really love that one. But this one I love even more. I feel like it really gets rid of all of the residue off my face, but it still leaves my skin really nice and smooth, not drying at all. I love the way it smells. I love the cooling effect on my face because I don't know, something about the matcha. I don't know if it's the matcha that does that, but, and it smells really good. I don't know, overall, I really do love this cleanser a lot and I've been using these two products for about a month now and my skin just loves it so much. My skin feels so squeaky clean after using these two products. This has been a game changer for me for sure. So thank you to Skincare by Hiram, you're amazing. Thank you for educating me. <laughs> this is typically what I do every single night literally every single night when i have makeup on if i don't have makeup on i'll just go in with the cleanser but usually i have makeup on so i'll use these two products once i get out of the shower i will apply this toner and i don't use the toner every single night skincare by harem doesn't really say that you absolutely need a toner in your skincare routine he basically says if you're cleansing your face the correct way you don't have any makeup residue or anything on your face you don't really need to go in with a toner it's not like necessary but he did recommend this product for dry skin so i did get it i use it for days where i have tons of makeup on and again this brand is i think korean so i can't really pronounce i don't really know what the name is but i will use this toner whenever i feel like using a toner <laughs> i was using the mario badescu toner for years and i heard that toner is not good because it has fragrance in it i didn't know that until now so i don't use that toner anymore and i will just put it on a cotton pad and just kind of tap it all over my face mostly around my hairline area and like down here so after i apply the toner then i like to go into my glam room and that's where i have all of like my skincare products at before i show you guys the rest of the nighttime skincare products that i like to use i did use this coco and eve sunny honey bronzing face drops for the first time last night i did want to try this product out um thank you to coco and eve for sending me this i am a huge tanning addict so i do use face tanning drops on my face because my face is a lot more pale than my body when i'm tan so they did send me this to try out and i did try it out last night and i love it i'll show you guys you know some clips of me using it and as well as me in the morning waking up 
with my face nice and bronze it says here that you have to apply two to three drops with moisturizer i like to apply a lot because i do like my face really really bronze so it can match like my deep tan on my body the days that i'm a little bit more fair like days that my tan is fading i will do less drops of this but i really do love this product and i did mix this in with my moisturizer which i will show you guys in a sec but I really did love this product, so thank you to Coco Nii for sending me this. I will link this product down below in case you guys are interested. Um, I really did love it, and I'm going to be continuing to use it because I love my face nice and tan. <laughs> so after I use the toner, I like to go in with a serum. And this is the Vitamin C Serum from Dr. Jart. This is what it looks like. I'm actually almost done, and I'm thinking about buying one from Sephora. I think I forgot what the brand is. I think it's called Inklink. I forgot the brand, but I will kind of put a picture here just to kind of show you guys the product that I'm interested in buying. But this is just a vitamin C. I use this nighttime and in the morning. So I like to apply a little bit of this all over my face. And then right after, I will apply this firming serum from zo skin health and this is what it looks like you can actually find these type of products at like med spas places where they do like facials hydrofacials botox any med spa they usually have this brand there one of my clients actually does facials and stuff and she works at a med spa so she actually gifted me this and i've been really enjoying it this is more of like a preventative so it's nothing you're gonna see like right now but you know I'm gonna be 26 this year, so I have to get my my A game on with my anti-aging products. So this is really nice. Again, it's just like an anti-aging product. It's gonna reduce wrinkles and firm the skin. So I like to apply one pump of this all over my face. After I apply the firming serum, I like to go in with the hyaluronic acid. And this is the one I use. It's by The Ordinary. This is what it looks like. Usually I'll mix this in with my moisturizer, but since I did use the moisturizer with the face tanning drops, I did apply this alone. So I just do a little bit of this all over my face. And I do like to concentrate this product more on my jawline area like my chin right down here since i do wear a mask every day at work i do get like heat rash and all that so i do like to keep all this nice and hydrated so i do focus more of the product down here where i have the mask and then obviously at the whatever is left on my hands i'll apply it all over my face so i really do love this product and it's really affordable if you've never heard of the ordinary they're really really cheap and good i do like to use this and next, I'd like to apply this eye serum. It's by The Ordinary, and it's called The Caffeine Solution. This is what it looks like. And I like the application on this because I feel like you can really control the product. And you get a lot in here. So as you can see, it's like a drop applicator. So I'll just apply a little bit of this right underneath my eye. I really don't think eye creams uh, work, but there are some that can kind of help with like correcting and all that. So Skincare by Hiram really recommends this eye cream, eye serum, whatever you want to call it. I was using the Ola Hegdrasen Banana Eye Break Cream. And I think it really works for like brightening the under eye, but I don't think it's going to be like something that's going to get rid of dark circles, fine lines, and all that. So I've been really loving this, and again, it's really affordable. For my nighttime cream, I have switched to a couple ones. I was using the Murad Hydration Nutrient Charged Water Gel Cream. I did really like this, but I think it's really high in fragrance. So um, I don't really use this one as much. And then I was using the Calm Water Gel by Dermalogica. This was really nice, but I'm almost out of it. And I really don't love the smell of this. It's just a little weird. But I did discover this product here by e.l.f. And actually, Skincare by Hiram recommended this product for dry skin. So I've been really, really loving this. And it's actually a like cannabis um, like CBD cream. So it's the e.l.f. Happy Hydration Hemp Cannabis Sativa Seed Oil Cream. This is what it looks like. I really love the way this feels on my skin. It's thick, really, really thick. And it just feels really nice and moisturizing on the skin, as you can see. I think the retail of this is $12, so it's really, really affordable. And you get quite a bit in this little tub. So I've been really loving this. I've been using this for a month as well, and I love it. Another one that I was using before this one is the e.l.f. Super Hydrate Water Gel that type of thing. This honestly was really weird when I first opened it because it's kind of like a like 
jelly gel consistency it's really really strange to explain I was using this before i found this one and this one is good i do like to wear this during the day and then this one more towards the night so i've been really loving this and again last night i did mix it with the face tanning drops and it was perfect i woke up with a nice bronze face so <laughs> this was a good little mix before I move on to my morning skincare routine, I do want to mention a couple products that is kind of like a bonus into my skincare routine. So the first one being the Ordinary HA Peeling Solution Exfoliator. This is what it looks like. It looks like blood, I know. This is crazy, let me tell you. I did discover this product on YouTube, but one of my clients uses it and she told me to use it and she said I was gonna love it. And I will say the first time I used it, it was burning my face so bad. I was like, is this even normal? Like, why is it burning? And I was texting her and she's like, oh yeah, it's completely normal. I think it's because it's kind of like a peeling, I mean, hence the name peeling solution. So it does have like acid in it. So it was kind of tingling and burning my face a little bit, but it's normal. And you're not supposed to leave this product on for more than 10 minutes. So I do leave it on for like 10 minutes max. I do put a timer on my phone because I don't want to ruin my skin. But the benefits of this product is literally amazing. And I will put some of the information right here on the screen so you guys can see. But I love this stuff. I usually do it once a week. It says to not do it more than twice a week. So I just do it once a week because again, I kind of have sensitive skin. So I don't want to ruin my skin. I do like to use this Wednesday night since I do tan Thursday and Wednesday. My face isn't that tanned. So I do this at nighttime. I leave it on for 10 minutes after I wash my face and everything. You wanna make sure your face is completely dry when you apply this product. Once I apply it all over my face, I put the timer on for 10 minutes. I let it sit there and I just take the burn, you know, beauty's pain. So after the 10 minutes, I do like to rinse this product off with like cold water and then towel dry my face and then just apply a basic moisturizer. You don't wanna apply anything else because if you accidentally mix, for instance, vitamin C after you applied this product, your face is messed up. If you're going to apply this peeling solution in the morning, make sure you apply a sunscreen right after you take this off because if you're going to be exposed to the sun, it's going to mess up your skin. So just be really careful using this product. So after I'm done using this, I will go in with just a basic cream, which is the e.l.f. Happy Hydration Cream. Or I'll go in with a like Kiehl's moisturizer, just super basic. But this is the one I'm using now, so. I have noticed a little bit of a difference after a couple of months of using this product. Some of my blemishes scars are slowly going away and I just feel like overall the appearance of my skin looks a lot more even and I have a lot less texture on my skin. So I really do love this product and again, it's super cheap. So thank you to The Ordinary for keeping your products nice and affordable. Another product I wanna mention is a face mask and this I usually do once a week just to add a little bit more boost to my skin. And at the moment, I'm currently using the Origins Hello Calm Relaxing and Hydrating Face Mask with Cannabis Sativa C oil so again this is kind of like a cbd cannabis product so this is what it looks like i actually discovered this from marshall's almost a year ago now i think i discovered this back in april of last year no i discovered this may of last year and i am still obsessed with this it feels so nice on my skin so soft so moisturizing and you apply it all over your face you leave it on for 20 minutes i leave it on for like 40 minutes and you just kind of take it off with a towel and just leave some of the product on your skin and the next day my skin feels so soft so hydrated and it's just like a little bonus to my little skincare routine so i love this i will be trying out some more masks i'm just trying to figure out the next best one that i want so in the meantime this has been really nice so moving on to my morning daytime skincare routine the first thing i like to do when i wake up is to wash my face and the one i've been using in the morning has been the cerave hydrating facial cleanser this has been really nice because again, I do wear a mask at work. So I do have to keep my face hydrated as much as I can. So I do love this hydrating one. It's super basic, very clean, and just works well with my skin. It does the job and yeah, pretty simple. I try to use a more simple cleanser in the morning because since I do have dry skin, I don't wanna keep washing my face constantly. So this product has been really nice. So after that, I like to go in with, again, my vitamin C serum. This is the one I use, the Dr. Jart. After I apply the vitamin C serum all over, then I like to go in with my hyaluronic acid serum from The Ordinary. Again, like I said, I do mix this in with my moisturizer, 
but recently I've just been applying it alone. So I'll just apply this all over my face. So then for my morning moisturizer, I usually alternate between the e.l.f. Happy Hydration Cream or the e.l.f. Super Gel Moisturizer. So I kind of alternate between this one. If I want something a little bit more moisturizing but lightweight, I'll apply this one. And I really do love it. And then of course, right after, I like to follow up with a sunscreen. If you guys are not using a sunscreen, what are you doing? You're like ruining your skin. <laughs> it's really, 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 really important to use a sunscreen just to protect your face from anti-aging, from the sun, from the UV light, from everything. But using a sunscreen is really, really important. And I have used a couple in the past. I'll show you guys the ones that I used to use. I used to use the Elta MD sunscreen which was good i mean it's kind of like a basic sunscreen and then i was using the tula uva uvb protection sunscreen as well i really did enjoy this one a lot it does leave your skin super glowy and fresh but skincare by hiram told me to buy this one and this is from again crave beauty which is the same brand i got the face wash from this is what it looks like and yeah, it's kind of like a basic sunscreen, but he really recommends this because it's just better and whatever he says I'm gonna buy. So I got this one and I really do love it. So honestly, that's kind of it for everything. I don't think I left anything out. And then I forgot to mention my favorite lip balm that I like to use is the e.l.f. CBD Lip Oil. This is what it looks like. Super hydrating lips. I love the way it smells and it just leaves your lips nice and soft and hydrated. So this has been a lip balm that I've been loving. So that is it for my skincare routine. Hopefully you guys found this video interesting. I'm finally, oh, look who decided to come say hi. I have my little nugget here. He just wanted to finally come and say hi to you guys. Hi, looky bear. You just wanted to come say hi? And finally, I was able to film this and share it with you guys. I've been wanting to do this video for forever, but I wanted to make sure all the products I was using I loved and that I've been using it for a while, and I made sure that it worked for my skin and as well as it being like really good products. So I'm super excited to finally have this video out for you guys. So that completes my full skincare routine from my nighttime regimen to my morning skincare. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below what you guys think. Let me know if there's any products here that you've tried. If there's something that I should try that I don't know about yet, definitely let me know down below. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, definitely give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe down below to help your girl out. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.